Hello, everybody. I'm Everton de Oliveira, the Professor Agua from the Groundwater Project. And the Groundwater Project offers great books in English originally, but, you know, uh, volunteers may work and produce a great book into their mother tongue. As you know, speaking English is a privilege and it's hard to learn a new subject in a different language, you know, that's not yours. So it's a great, it's a great work that people are doing uh, like volunteering. And today we have uh, Andras Jakab. I, th I, I think it's Andras, Andras Jakab. He's yes, from Hungary. Is that correct? <laughs> Thank you very much, Andras. And um, he's a computer science engineer from Romania and an environmental engineer in Hungary. And he's a groundwater modeler. Please tell us a little bit about yourself, your career, and about your organization. Thank you. Thank you, Everton, for this nice uh, introduction. Uh, yes, my name is Andras Jakob. You spelled it correctly. Also, it's, it's quite difficult for people uh, who, are, who don't know Hungarian. Hungarian in general, it's, it's a difficult language. So thank you. Thank you for learning that. Uh, yeah, uh, as you said, I was... Uh, Originally, I'm from Romania. I'm a Hungarian uh, uh, nationality. Uh, I, I belong to a Hungarian nationality uh, from Romania. I uh, graduated my first degree there in, uh, in computer sciences, and then I relocated in, in Hungary in 1992. And I uh, had the privilege to work for a, an American-Swiss joint venture in uh, environmental remediation. At that time, that was the biggest uh, environmental remediation project here in Hungary. And there I discovered a world beyond computers. And uh, I started to learn uh, uh, hydrogeology and not only hydrogeology. And I discovered that I can use my computer sciences knowledge and started to learn uh, groundwater modeling. And uh, I worked for four years for that company. Then I uh, launched my own consultancy and I'm working for this consultancy since, since uh, 1997. I'm managing it, it's a small consultancy and we provide uh, environmental services, um, specifically site assessment, environmental remediation design and groundwater modeling as well. We also have a, a distributor uh, ship uh, we, we distribute environmental software and environmental equipment uh, for uh, major manufacturers around the world. Oh, that's very good. That's, that's very that's good. good. Are, you, are you a professor as well? I'm not a professor. I'm, I'm, I'm teaching groundwater modeling, so I'm, uh, I'm partnering with Water Do Hydrogeologic, the, the developers of Visual Multiple Flex, and I'm teaching. Uh, groundwater course, uh, modeling courses uh, for more than 10 years for international students yeah. and uh, yeah that's a that's a that's a good nice challenge and it also helps me a lot to learn more and more and more every time I do a course I learn a lot that's true we we do learn when we when we teach right that's that's a a, a very important thing we yeah, we okay. learn in that that's very good. Uh, so why having the book Geologic Framework for Groundwater Flow Models in Hungary is important? Why do you think that? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think the main reason is that uh, there is a general lack of literature uh, um, in groundwater modeling, not only, but specifically in groundwater modeling here in Hungary. We only have one textbook that was uh, published in Hungary and uh, something like 20 years ago. And um, I'm not aware of anything else. And uh, also I know that a uh, uh, few professionals have the opportunity to, to, to read uh, professional literature. For several reasons, I don't wanna enter into details about this. So I think short text books, such as those ones published by uh, the Groundwater Project are a good opportunity for uh, professionals, practitioners, and, and also students to read about uh, uh, groundwater modeling and also, uh, of course, uh, about other uh, professional, uh, not to begin a different professional knowledge. 
And short textbooks is generally a good incentive uh, for, for later, uh, for these people to, to read even more and uh, improve their knowledge about their profession. So that, that, that was my first thought about it. And the second is that uh, my experience tells me that uh, not only uh, stakeholders, but also professionals in general, uh, don't know too much about groundwater modeling. What is groundwater modeling uh, all about? I thought uh, this, this could be a good opportunity to, to, uh, to start opening, opening up uh, the windows towards uh, stakeholders and talk about groundwater modeling. And because conceptual models themselves are the cornerstone of groundwater models, I think that this is a good starting point here. That's true, that's true, thank you. So uh, would you have any suggestions on how to improve the connections between the groundwater project and the, and the Hungarian community? Or what would you have to say to someone uh, that is, you know, in doubt if he translates something or not. Well, how how do you can you say about what can you say about your experience, please? Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that you are doing an excellent job. I mean, the groundwater project is a, is a good in, initiative, and you you guys are doing an excellent job. Uh, not only the authors, but uh, you as the the uh, collaborators and, and managers of this uh, incentive. Uh, I think uh, what can be done in addition to that is <clears throat> from the other end, from our end, from the volunteers end. Uh, honestly speaking, I don't know how to, to attract uh, more uh, volunteers. However, I know for sure that there are uh, very good professionals here in Hungary who would be able to to contribute or even to write uh, their own uh, textbooks for the groundwater yeah. project. Um, so I think it's it's true that on our end we should we should uh, do some more job on 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 um, attracting more volunteers, but also uh, on your end uh, probably it would be to would, would be good to. to contact more professionals, not only from the, from the uh, English speaking community, such as uh, North American authors or Canadian authors, uh, but also from uh, Eastern and Central European, and not only uh, because we have very good professionals. I, I'm aware that there is another book uh, that is going to be published uh, uh, by two authors who live in Hungary. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's going to be a very good book. I'm pretty sure of that. I know it. And I'm pretty sure that there are- You're talking, you're talking about the, the Pannonian Basin yes, book? Yes, I know. I know the author. I had the, I had the privilege to be uh, asked to ask to be asked to, to review their, their textbook. So, uh, oh, it's a, it, it is a very good book. I, I, yeah. I, I, I read it. It's very good. It's very good. Yeah, it's uh, I, I agree with you. I'm pretty sure, and I know at least two or three people who would be uh, glad to to author uh, some other books uh, in in other fields of hydrogeology as well. Just just let us know. Send us a send me a, a, a note with their names and and their spe uh, specialization, and, and I'll talk to John for sure. That's in, that's interesting. Yeah, right. and I agree with you. We have to we, we and we we all we do have people, authors from all over the world working. But you know, it, it's usually um, easier to, to get the people that are around them, you know, so John have, have friends in Canada and US, so it's, it's where to start. But we, we, we do have people from all over the world, but you are absolutely right. Bringing uh, people from other countries helps us improving uh, our connections and and more students from other countries who participate. That's a good point. Thank you, thank you. Please, uh, I'd like to thank you very much for your nice work. Make your final considerations. Uh, I think I, I, I told about uh, everything I wanted to talk about. Uh, again, uh, I would like to, to thank you for the Groundwater Project for this opportunity. 
I remember when I first heard about it, uh, it was in uh, 19, oh, sorry, 2018, was it? Was the, the, the IH Congress in Malaga was in 2018? Yep. Yes. Yeah. yes. I have a privilege to talk uh, to, to John Cherry, uh, and I, I also listened to, the, to his presentation at that uh, Congress about this uh, project. It, it was launched, at, uh, I start, the project was starting or something like 2017 or 2018. And uh, I didn't really know how this uh, is going to end up, but uh, it, it's, it's excellent. I mean, that's, that's all I can say about it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And it's going to be much, much bigger. You just wait. We have so many books to come. I'm, I'm very glad with the results, just as you are. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, everybody, we had, we had here Andras Jakab. He's Hungarian. He translated the book, uh, Geologic Framework for Groundwater Flow Models. Please, read in your own language, in Hungarian, and you have fun, and we will learn because the book is very good. It's concise and helps you improving your understanding of, uh, of hydrogeology, even if you don't, you don't intend to, to, to do modeling. But you will learn a lot about the models and how the groundwater flows with this simple and short book, but very precise, and very in-depth. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andres, for your nice work. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.